Before you go into the bush, you should also prepare yourself in terms of taking certain materials so that you can quickly collect the sample and press them while you're in the field. First and foremost, you need a pair of secateurs and then a pair of gloves, preferably the cotton ones. This one is plastic, even this one is fine, but the pair of gloves is also important. And then you need a notebook and a pen, preferably the waterproof pen. And then you need some uh, A3 size newspapers. I will explain why we need them. And also we need some cardboard sheets and uh, some plastic bags, preferably black plastic bags, because if you're collecting the plant samples along the roadside, you don't want to waste spend a lot of time in collecting. You can uh, temporarily store the plant samples in the plastic bag and then you can transfer them into the, the plant press later on. You also need some the paper bags to place some of the seeds, seed pods and other materials which you can't press along with your plant samples. In addition, you need the price tags which are which you can attach that to the plant sample and as soon as it is collected. The moment you collect a sample, you give that a name, a, a name of a unique name, so that that sample is already identified to that level. And finally, you need a plant press. The plant press, something like this, there are two different types of plant presses, something like this. It is good for the, uh, the desktop, but if you're in the field, you can make uh, a light one, something like this, plywood sheets, and then you bring them together and you can use a Velcro tape that will act as a, the field plant press. The other one acts as a, the lab or the desktop, the plant press. So you can have one of this type and one of that so that you can, both will be useful for different purposes.